Tennessee Titans have a lot. They got a lot going on right now, uh, and I honestly feel like they're one of those teams that might be a little bit underrated in terms of what they're trying to do. So uh, when we talk about the, the Titans today, including our, our latest segment of bringing you the latest headlines and news for every NFL team, uh, yeah, there's a lot going on for the Titans, but it's exciting because, you know, the Titans, in my mind, they have been on the cusp. They have been right there. Obviously, Derrick Henry's a stud. I'm interested to see what happens uh, with Malik Willis. Uh, you know, I just feel like, uh, you know, this is just a well-run organization from top to bottom, uh, and uh, I I'm excited overall to see how this all does kind of go down uh, as we get closer both to training camp and the regular season. Uh, but without further ado, let's bring you to the latest uh, uh, Titans Wire article, uh, and uh, yes, don't worry, yes, of course, we'll put it down in the uh, link down in the description so you guys can take a read at it. Fantastic article, by the way. So, uh, t this, so far, this is the biggest takeaways from Titan's final open session of OTAs. I believe they had another one that was not open to media, if I remember correctly. Maybe not. I'm not sure. But um, So, Mike uh, Mora, uh, Mora Titus, I believe, that Mora, Mora Titus, ugh, I'm, I'm terrible with names. Mike M, M&M, &M, hey, okay, sorry. So, um, <laughs> this is the biggest takeaway. So, obviously, they talk about uh, kind of what's going on. And I believe, yes, as Tennessee wraps up its voluntary OTAs on Thursday, the team will turn its attention to mandatory minicamp, which will run June 14th through 16th. So, um, you know, there's a couple things uh, before. Before that camp, we're actually getting uh, to uh, you know the 16th here, so uh, of, of July, obviously. So this is what, about a month after this. So uh, kind of getting a, a, a feel of Titans camp so far. So uh, one of the first things that talks about is Treylon Burks uh, among those absents. Yeah, uh, absent. Yes, he's been a guy that uh, he has not been good to go. Uh, I think it's uh, what Vrabel and also Treylon Burks called asthma. I'm not. I'm not freaking out about it though. I'm really not. Like, can we just give this kid a break? Obviously, he's an electric player uh i think that he, he, he played down in arkansas he's clearly going to be fine so uh you know a john glennon uh, among titans not vo at voluntary ota today Traylon burks um they were coming to pre brewer rice yeah all those guys so honestly it's i'm not really that worried about it so i think this is something you just kind of take with a grain of salt something to watch certainly but i don't think you get too worried about it because i do think uh Traylon burks is going to be good to go and he's going to be a lot of fun uh to uh to take a look at uh as you get moving too so injuries uh you know uh, glennon continued a couple injuries at titans otas today kicker caleb uh, shudak appeared to have hurt his right leg on a missing kick uh tommy hudson tight end also slipped up here due to suffer a leg injury uh and was carted off the field uh which again you you really don't want injuries this is uh, one of those things where it, it's it's camp it's otas it's mini camp you, you really don't want injuries you want uh, players taking it easy taking it slow just learning the ins and outs of the playbook and their assignments so you know you never want to see injuries but hopefully everyone is okay in that in that regard so um john glennon continues uh so it uh, talks a little bit about more uh austin hooper and ryan Tannehill. yay building some chemistry maybe hooper is going to be a guy to watch out for in fantasy so uh glennon continuing pretty good day for titans passing game some highlights ten hill through uh back to back or hit back to back deep shorts right sideline to a uh, malone and on um ten hill hit a deep slant to fitzpatrick in the end zone as well as hit one uh to uh hooper as well which is again that, that's great I, I feel like cooper can bring a lot to this offense still uh that says then obviously at uh at Zo Sports in Nashville, they said, you know, that Ryan Tannehill uh, to Austin Hooper connection continues to look promising. Uh, let's see, other pass catchers. Yeah, okay, yeah. So, yeah, I'm really encouraged about getting Austin Hooper uh, to the Titans. I think he's going to be uh, a really good player for uh, the Titans. Add another element to that offense and just be that uh, that guy that's tough to be able to defend. Uh, let's see, backup running back notes. ESPN's Teron Davenport. Uh, Trenton Karen got to the hole in a hurry during a uh, team period and sh oh, showed some shiftiness at the second level. Uh, let's see. Yes, yeah, rookie uh, Julius Chestnut continues to remind me of Natrone. Means big man with quick feet. Love it, love it, love it. So then quicker, uh, the kicker update here for you. Uh, you know, uh, like I said, I uh, talked about on Shudak, I believe he did injure himself on that last attempt there, but uh, I think he went, what was it, uh, two or three or four or three or five or something like that. So, you know, the kicker thing, it's it's tough, uh, but, you know, bringing in a guy uh, like Shudak, I think it's a good move. I think he's, uh, hopefully he's going to be okay, uh, but, you know, that is something to keep an eye on in OTAs and everything because um, in terms of uh, just making sure your kicking situation is going to be under wraps. So then it says uh, three key Titans still wearing yellow pullovers. Uh, it said, you know, 
we've talked about Caleb Farley coming back, also Robert Woods and cornerback Christian Fulton as well, um, and then uh, you know Racy McMath. Uh, so they all had their yellow pullovers. You know, again, something you just want to keep an eye on. I'm really excited about Caleb Farley coming back. Uh, I think he's going to be an electric player for the Titans. So you're really taking a look at that ace, at that knee. Excuse me, it's the ACL for Robert Woods. Um, you know, I'm excited to see what Robert Woods will do in this offense. He's going to be a lot of fun. He's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, three Titans limited or out. Uh, let's see. Offensive lineman Aaron Brewer, cornerback Elijah Molden, and linebacker Monty Rice were all spotted, but uh, they're working to decision with these limited or held out. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Malik Willis, the one of the more um, things that I'm really excited about. So, um, you know, it talks about Malik Willis had, has had his moments in OTA, some good, not some not so good. Uh, his first snap under center on Thursday ended up on the ground. It didn't field his second snap cleanly either. Uh, Willis made some nice throws in the offseason, including a bullet to receiver Racy McMath in a team period, but several of his Tuesday passes missed their targets either because of good plays by the defense or throws that were off target. Titans quarterback coach Pat O'Hara says Malik Willis, shown in these clips, is a hard worker and retains information well. Uh, describes him as athletic with a huge arm and having a lot of skills uh, as well. To, 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 to. So, you know, I, I do think, that especially I'm watching a lot of these uh, OTA highlights and, and videos. And, uh, I'm excited for a guy like Malik Willis. There's a lot to like. I mean, look at this. I mean, this guy, he's athletic. I think he's got a dynamite arm. He, I mean, he could be uh, kind of a, I think he could be kind of a, 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 a a breath of fresh air for this quarterback position for the Titans. It's going to be interesting. Yeah, love it. Rolling out there, making a couple of nice throws. Uh, that will not cause So uh, I, I'm excited. You know, I really feel like this is going to be something to watch. Um, so then it shows a uh, nice catch by Chig. Uh, uh, yeah, I know Chig on Conquo. I love saying his name now, but um, you know there was talk about how he had a, a, a beautiful touchdown catch from Ryan Tannehill. Um, you know, over Buster screen. So, you know, getting over Buster screen, too. That's one of the best names in sports. I don't care what anybody says. But um, Chigun Conk will getting a nice catch there uh, as well. And then also uh, a, a good day for Logan Woodside the, uh, with the backup quarterback. Uh, made a number of nice throws on Tuesday, including a nice pair of com uh, completions to Kyle Phillips, a completion to Swain, and a touchdown pass to receiver Reggie Robertson. So, um, you know, I, I think this is going to be something that, you know, as we go through the headlines here, you know, obviously a lot of things to take away. Malik Willis, the kicker situation, uh, everything kind of going on there. But I'm, I'm really excited about the Titans. I, I think they've got a lot of good things going for them. I think they've got a lot of good players that are, are really going to step up this year. I, I'm excited to see what happens with Malik Willis, too. Say what you want. Ryan Tannehill, um, there's been ups and downs, certainly some downs. But I, I, I'm excited about Malik Willis and what he brings to this franchise, what he brings to that quarterback room. But, yeah, I, I think this is definitely some things to keep an eye on, you know, Traylon Burks and all that whole situation as well. I'm not that worried about it, but it's definitely something to t uh, to at least keep an eye on. But uh, but that's it. Those are our latest headlines for the Tennessee Titans before training camp. Make sure you guys like and subscribe down below. Leave a like and a comment. It helps people find the show. We greatly appreciate all the support that we've gotten and continue to get. You guys are all truthfully awesome. We love every single one of you. Down in the description below, you'll find all of our social media platforms. So give us a like and a follow there. Also remember to give us a listen and sub on iTunes. And finally, if you have anything else you'd like to cover, send us an email at the sports BP at Yahoo dot com or or put in the comment section down below and we would love to cover it but let us know what you guys think about the latest headlines and news for the tennessee titans before we head into training camp